Well, the governor's celebration of that new manufacturing facility turned a little testy when he faced off with reporters who were asking him more critical questions about some of the recent moves he's made. Fox 10's Brian Webb joins us live at the state capitol with the details. Brian. Well, John, you know the governor has been criticized for holding news conferences few and far in between. So when reporters get a chance to ask some questions and maybe get some answers, they take it. Hello, everyone. How are you? Welcome to Cassie Grand. The governor went from playing offense to defense in a hurry, peppered with questions on several major topics, starting with him stripping away the state's COVID restrictions without the blessing of health care leaders. I right want now. people to continue to be responsible and use common sense just like they have this entire year. Next up, the immigration issue, or as the governor insists on calling it, border security even insinuating that President Biden is doing the bidding of drug dealers. Homeland Security officials and Custom and Border Patrol officials have said is the Biden administration is the marketing arm of the criminal cartels who are giving these families hope so parents send children on this dangerous journey. Oftentimes while they're doing it, they're running drugs or they're sexually abused. It's not humanitarian and it needs to change. And with enrollment down and teachers being laid off, Governor Ducey was asked, why not use the money from the state's bloated billion dollar rainy day fund to keep educators employed? We're going to spend money. We're going to make sure nobody falls through that social safety net. We care about our small businesses, but we're not going to frivolously spend money just to spend it. The governor was also asked about recent two to three hour wait times at state vaccination sites. And late today, he announced more paid staff and 90 additional National Guard members will work those sites to get those numbers back down. Live in Phoenix, I'm Brian Webb, Fox 10 News.